Hello, this is Chancellor Dennis Shields, and I welcome you to our University of Wisconsin Platteville video update for December 4th, 2020. You have heard updates over the past several weeks, mostly related to COVID-19. And while those updates are necessary and important, it is also important to highlight some of the positive things that have occurred this semester. Even though many of our classrooms are empty, we are still accomplishing great things at the University of wisconsin Platteville. For example, in our College of EMS, Dr. Christina Fields was named one of four recipients across the UW system of the 2020 Alliant Energy James R. Undekoffler Excellence in Teaching Award. This award pays tribute to Christina's dedication as a teacher, her ability to communicate effectively, and inspire enthusiasm for learning. Dr. Kirthi Premasada received the fourth annual Nimix Family Faculty Appreciation Award, which goes to outstanding faculty members who demonstrate achievements in teaching effectiveness, teaching the value of diversity, and communicating the value of a liberal arts education to their students in their careers and in their lives. Beth and Gary Goldberg created a renewable scholarship for engineering students from the state of Wisconsin and through gifts totaling a million dollars will impact students at our university significantly. Finally, a student from our university will graduate in December, Rakia Talby, received the 2020 Align Energy Errol B. Davis Jr. Academic Achievement Award. Rakia has also been a Chancellor Scholar and we are proud of her recent achievement and award. On to the College of Liberal Arts and Education. In addition to numerous publications and faculty awards, the theater program kicked off their 2020-2021 season with a production of Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. Four performances were live streamed in November. Not only did this production showcase true pioneering spirit, but it also captured aspects of the pandemic and incorporated them into the play by having characters wear masks, practice social distancing, and wash their hands. Additionally, musical performances from the Pioneer Marching Band and student art exhibits were on display and live streamed, illustrating the adage, the show must go on. The School of Education has continued to offer virtual tutoring to over 140 K through 12 students in Southwest Wisconsin, providing a valuable experience to our pre-service teachers while also meeting the needs of our local community. Jessica Brogley from our School of Education received a national grant from the Rural Schools Collaborative supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The podcast, Proud Rural Teacher, is a platform to share School of Education initiatives, connect ideas related to rural education and living, and gather stories of teaching in rural areas. Finally, Anna Klemesh, a student within the psychology department who interned with the University of Wisconsin Platteville Counseling Services, is leading a peer-led mental health awareness group on campus, which has the potential for a huge impact on current and future students at the university. On to BILSA. Dr. Wayne Weber from the College of BILSA helped to orchestrate the first annual Dairy Innovation Hub Summit this past November, which brought together leaders in the field and industrial partners to showcase some of the cutting edge research and development that is occurring at the Pioneer Farm. In addition to a virtual tour, the summit brought together collaborators that drive innovation and new discoveries in dairy industry. The University of Wisconsin Platteville lies within what is considered the center of the dairy universe. And so these efforts will continue to have an impact on the university and the state of Wisconsin. One of the phrases that we often use to describe our collective role is as stewards of place. One of the ways that we can continue to act in accordance with this idea is to help create a more sustainable model for the future. Amy C. Booth Wilson and sustainability groups on campus partnered with local photographer and alumnus Mark Hirsch to plant an oak sap sapling 
in remembrance of both his often photographed and locally famous tree known as that tree and our own iconic oak tree that fell during a storm on our campus this past summer. Mark provided the descendant sapling which came from the oak tree that he made famous and we hope it brings joy and natural beauty to all those who see it on our campus. It's one of the reasons why I say today and every day, it is a great day to be a pioneer. <music>